we have a new game. You are Cliff, a college student, who was a brand new freelance cameraman for the show Paranormal Entities. The second rated ghost uh, investigation show on the... Oh, the second best. Oh, okay. On the hunting and outdoors cable network. You have been hired to inspect the son Augustine Asylum for the mentally ill. You will go into the facility. Follow the producer's instructions. It's a bit too loud. Thank you. Through a radio earpiece. Keep your camera on and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity. Ooh, on your camera. What will I get? Comma. What will I get? What? <laughs> okay. Let's start. All right, oh. Clint. Uh, Cliff, Cliff, Cliff. Cliff, welcome to the St. Augustine's Clint. Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. <laughs> and when you're ready, debts. enter in through those oh front my. doors. What is that? So, is this the front door? Why can I, can I exit? I can't. Oh, Mr. Jesus, please. Please protect me. Okay. Let's go. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So, <laughs> here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. This is where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, flaying yep. themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful with your step. Well, I tried every door, but none of them open. Oh, what? Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Are you talking through my radio? <laughs> okay, play that back. I thought it's an earpiece. Know that you're here. Hello? Um... I give you permission yeah, to die. Fun. You know, the stories about the asylums is actually quite interesting. Oh. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. I... I want. Show up. I want my comma. Off. I want what's ever behind that comma. Hopefully, like a thousand dollars. Oh, all right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go 
down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. The morgue hallway. Oh. Okay, of the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the East Social Area is the first on the list. This okay. is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So you walk into the center and we will be yelled 200 to 219. Eh, we're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. I Not found necessarily a bug. dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. This sucks. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he'd be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could memer? never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He yeah. came here due to legal loopholes and the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring. Okay, alright, I, I get it. He, he, he was bad. The patients who didn't listen were tortured and the ones who did wandered around the facility. Yeah. Blind, screaming, and in constant fear. Okay, alright, it was bad. I get it. Locked too. Hmm. Let's just start the ceremony. Let's start the ceremony. This oh asylum. what this ceremony you know you're here we release you from your restraints come forward and live again this person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead you may be seen interact and manipulate him in any way as you see fit I think me Clint is going to die wait was my name Clint was right in my ears please don't jump scare me don't I hate I hate when I have to turn around or turn corners in horror games I hate that see no She is rubbing her butt. Okay, miss or mister, um, if you want to, we can go grab a coffee. I don't like coffee. I can't drink some tea though. I don't like black tea. I just like fruity tea. 